When I first graduated from school, I imagined that I'm the type to hold a job for 40 years until I'm 65 and then have a peaceful retirement. But I realized a few years into the job that that was not going to be the plan. And that is not the best plan for me and in my opinion for most people. Because you're working your ass off and you're paying all your expenses like living downtown, transportation, if you own a car, that's very expensive, cell phone, internet, and entertainment. And sometimes you gotta travel too. So really, every single year, the most you're saving is going to be five or $10,000. And that's if you're a disciplined saver. Most people go in debt or at best, just spend all their money and end up at ground zero. So, I realized I have to make an exit. So based on my experience with finance and banking, I was able to secure a loan and buy myself a property. Okay, and from that, I was able to generate some income and I was able to put all that money into an investing account. Overall, investing is not as risky as you think. If you're buying blue chips, if you are going with uh, trusted companies, uh, you're not going with a tiny startup that nobody heard about that pumps, you know, 500% one day and then down 600% another day. So as long as you're doing that, then you're pretty safe. Blue chip company, diversify, buy around 10, 20 of them. If you first start out and you're not really sure, buy into different industries and commodities, index fund, try to spread them out a little bit. But as you become more experienced, put them into uh, trending and stocks with high potential, especially if you're the type of person that don't require that money right away. Meaning within three to five years, you don't expect to withdraw the core uh, of that fund. Investing requires a long-term horizon, which means you want to hold it for at least three years. The longer you hold it, the higher the likelihood that you're going to make a profit. So why don't I keep working at a stable job and getting a pretty good income? Now, pretty good is not that great when they're printing a ton of cash, a ton of currency, and your money is being inflated like mad. By the time you're retired, who knows about the thousand, two thousand dollar you save? What that is going to equate to? Let's say you save a hundred thousand, and you're not investing wisely. You're not getting massive five to ten percent returns. You're getting a mediocre, you know, one or two percent. And you guys laugh about that, but there's some saving account in Canada that pays you a quarter of a percent per year, not per month, per year, a quarter of 1%. So you gotta be smart. You gotta make big income. You have to scale it up, which means if you work at a regular job, it's really hard to scale it up because I'm gonna pay some respect in front of the temple here. Just one second. Even if you don't believe in uh, the afterworld, it's good to respect them. Every time I walk by a temple, pagoda, or some place of worship, I'm gonna pay respect. So to continue with our conversation, if you are working at a regular job, you are not able to scale your time and your effort. If you run a business and the business tenfold, then you're able to tenfold your income, uh, potentially more. As people believe in your vision or where you're going, they're going to invest heavily into your company uh, or your project, whatever vision that you have. So if you work at a job, no matter how good you are at the job, maybe you get a raise of like 10, 20% a year, and that's being very optimistic. But it's never gonna double or triple. So. Try to do something that's going to get you big income for your effort. Otherwise, try to escape while maintaining your job but running a side hustle that will eventually give you an income without you having to invest your time fully there. So you can be in another place, uh, you can be doing 
anything you want pretty much eating or swimming or relaxing on the beach and you still get paid so that's essentially what you want to get to is not having to depend on a job for income so I'm not sure if this is the end all and be all advice it's just something that I tried and I did you know like escaping from a job that you know you have to show up and you have to do day after day in order to get paid you want to get out of that if you have a job like that especially if you're not satisfied if you love your job that's one thing but a lot of people are working for an income they just basically go to work to get a paycheck how miserable is that and if you do a job like that for even two or three years you start to feel the pressure the anxiety and the stress that it caused so imagine trying to do that for 35 or 40 years is it's going to be a massive hit on your physical and mental health so that's my strategy guys and literally that's what i did i just make as much income as you can when you're young work very hard and throw all that into an investing account the younger you are the more risk that you're able to take so don't worry too much about that especially you don't have kids you know buying diapers and milk you don't have many dependents your your parents are okay by themselves they're well off you know take care of elder parents and and you're not planning for anything big like a wedding or a purchase of a vehicle or a house something like that and you know what even if you have a wedding coming up try to uh, minimize the budget as well if the girl really loves you she's not gonna expect a fancy uh, thirty forty thousand dollar wedding and a ten twenty thousand dollar ring you know so you guys can talk it out but that's just my opinion uh, don't spend so much on a wedding or anything big for that matter because you want to work as hard as you can and uh, spend the least amount possible and then take all that money and invest it because money that you spend just for fun or enjoyment is gone but money you invest is going to compound over year and years so compound interest is extremely powerful what that means is you only get paid on your original amount invested but with whatever gains that you get from that you get interest essentially my point is you have to work hard especially when you're young you have a lot of energy your brain is clear hopefully you know you have the brain power to think uh, do something worthwhile make a ton of cash uh, try to save as much as you can don't go blowing it all up you know you can have fun but there's a lot of things that you can do that doesn't require a ton of cash so do that and think about your future if you want to be rich you want to be location free um, you just want to have freedom in general then you have to put a lot of money away and with the way that the market is going now when your money compounds you're going to be laughing you know every day it could be thousands of dollars literally what you make in a month I'm speaking from experience. What I'm used to making in a month, now I make in a day. So if you guys are disciplined enough to put your money away, do some research, you know, read thoroughly through this company, learn a little bit about finance, the economy, the government, investing, and then you put it into the right asset, you're gonna be laughing all day long, all year long. And if you don't know uh, what to do in terms of investing, follow some people that actually do know what they're doing. You know, see where the market is trending. Uh, listen to a lot of experts. Pick a few that you really trust, uh, that has vision, that you believe in, and kind of put everything together based on your own research and based on what they advise. And whatever makes sense, you put your money in that. At the beginning, you can put a little bit, but slowly you can add more and more uh, as it work out. That's what I do. A lot of people say, oh, you know, buy on the dip, buy low. You know, you don't know when it's gonna be low. You don't know when it's gonna be high. and looking back it's, it's quite easy you know um, it's 2020 vision when you're looking backward when you're in the moment it's quite hard to pick the bottom so whenever you have money you know buy in uh, if you know that company is good regardless of that day it went down five percent or went up three percent uh, if you know the company is good then why don't you put money in it put as much as you can and uh, just use whatever money that you need for rent for food you know the basic things uh, don't put everything that you have in it so that you can miss your rent 
and don't borrow a bunch of money from the bank at you know eight nine percent interest rate to invest because that's also risky because the market can move in ways that you don't understand sometimes you know you got whales you got people with a ton of money that can move money in and out um, for some kind of project uh, maybe not even they're manipulating the the market but they need that money for something they're trying to realize some gains some benefits so they sell their stocks to invest in uh, other projects that they have so let's say uh, Jeff Bezos if he sells like a hundred million stocks a uh, hundred million dollars in stocks it doesn't mean that he's trying to get out Amazon it could mean that he's trying to move into Blue Origin he's trying to build a spaceship so think about it that way if you guys are investing in a good stock, it doesn't matter that that day it went up or down. Throw your money in there, throw as much as you can, and yeah, go to sleep peacefully. Go check on it, you know, once in a while. Every few days you go in and see how it goes and readjust and move your money around, reallocate. But for the most part, you shouldn't be on there every day or five, six times a day. That's what a lot of people do, you know, they go on and they start checking their stock as soon as they have a few thousand dollars invested in a ticker and they're always like saving that and clicking on it every hour or so don't be that guy just put your money there trust that everything is going well uh, go back check on it you know every five six days and uh, you should be good to go so it's that easy guys for me that's how you get financial independence let me know if you guys have any other ideas what you agree or disagree with put it in the comment below and uh, yeah let's discuss let's talk about it but here I am in Phuket Thailand and you know what any of you guys can do this uh, with a little bit of work with a little bit of thinking you can do it too and you can be here not just a week or two but you can be here months on end I've been traveling for almost five months now and still going so if I can do it you can do it trust me I'm not uh, some kind of exceptional human being I don't know any secret knowledge or anything like that so um, I'm just an average guy uh, that works hard I keep an eye on what's happening in the market uh, that plays importance on my finance and having freedom so that means you guys if you adopt this thinking that you will have the same if not even more successes good luck and I'll see you guys somewhere out there in the world having fun living life and uh, learning making money all right, peace guys, keep it well.